This time we're going to be opening it up a little bit broader, and you guys can figure out how to answer this. It's going to be Kate's turn first. What are the changes you would make a priority in your administration if you were elected mayor of Santa Fe? <coughs> Wow, okay, yes, um, <laughs> that's pretty broad. And there's, there's, there's lots of work to do, and I love the word modernize, because I think that is um, what we need to do really for our city organization, for City Hall. And I think um, one of the key changes that I would prioritize is really a reset around City Hall, modernizing the workplace. There are a lot of different companies that are doing things. Netflix, for example, has an unlimited vacation policy. Now, we're probably not going there yet with government, but I think we need to really think about how we can have more flexibility. I had an employee during my time as a manager of the city and a supervisor who was my most productive person in the department, and she was a working mother who only did 32 hours a week at the city because she had young children whom she wanted to have a little extra time for. She didn't waste a minute of time that she was working at the city, and it was wonderful. And so I think looking at job sharing and <coughs> flexibility and really modernizing our city itself, embracing technology to find efficiency uh, and working to have really a highly functional, excellent organization where talented people hunger to work and change the world. And the other change that I would prioritize, and I've been thinking about it, is there's inside the city organization and there's the external policy world, and that is we need to really update our housing policy because housing is connected to so many things. It's connected to the strength of our public schools when educators can't live in this community. It's connected to the health and strength of our police force because cops can't afford to live in this community. It's connected to our economy because workers can't afford to live in this community. And we need to make sure that Santa Fe is a place where people who are starting out in their careers or living on a fixed income or working their butts off in between can afford to be. So externally updating housing policy is a priority to change. When it comes to changes in the administration, I talk to our employees every day, um, and you know what they tell me? Ron, we just want to be heard. We want to be part of the process. We don't want to just have people walk by us and not ask us what's going on. That, to me, is something that I bring to the city. I have that dialogue with their employees all the time. I go to where they work. And, you know, it's not always, hey, Councilor Trio, it's Ron, it's Ronnie because I've grown up here with them, they, they, you know, I understand what they're doing. I'm in the same, I tell them, I'm doing the same thing as the DOT. I'm in the trenches. I know what, I know what it is to be in the trenches. What they tell me is, you know what? We, 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 so much, we see waste at the city. We know how we can fix, how we can cut costs here in the city. All it's going to take is having that dialogue with us. So that is one of the top priorities I will be having with our employees, is inviting them and asking them, you guys tell me what's going on in the city. You tell me what's wrong, you tell me what's not working. Because you guys are here seven days a week, you're here eight hours a day. With our police and fire, some of them are here even longer. You know, two, three days, they know what's happening. So that, that, that's going to change the city hall with me, is having more open dialogue with our employees and letting them know that they are important to our community, they're important to the city, and we want them to be part of that process. Um, we talk other priorities, you know, I'm a coach. I've been a coach in, in this city for many years, and the thing that I've been trying to tackle is, is finding things for our kids here in Santa Fe to do. Um, as someone, like I said, there are a lot of th things for us, for our kids to do. There's parks, there's playing baseball, but not everybody's an athlete. Not everybody has those same passions. Uh, so to me, working with, with this community, working with businesses, and going out to those businesses and asking them, you know, hey, what's it going to take for you to come to my city? open up a shop here and start creating you know, businesses and jobs for our local kids. Thank you. Uh, I think there are two questions that frame this election. The first question is, are we going to be one city or two? And the second question is, are we going to hold on to the status quo? Or are we going to embrace change? On the first question about uh, 
whether we'll be a united city or a divided city. It goes back to what I said about the quality of a campaign indicating the way you would govern as mayor. I'm very proud that Tiger Abeda, Valerie Espinoza, and others who are leaders on the south side of Santa Fe have endorsed me and indicate that I can be a mayor that will unify Santa Fe and make inclusivity, equity, and transparency part of the way the city does business. I think the, uh, the, the fraud audit report that is available on the city's website makes it clear that in order to have a city that is transparent and well run, we need to have a city where the employees are well managed, listened to, taken care of, given the resources and training they need to be able to provide the services that you, as the people of Santa Fe, expect. On the subject of change, I think the New Mexican got it exactly right on Sunday when they endorsed me. They said, Santa Fe is changing and will continue to change. The question is, will we choose our change or will we be victims of change? And so we need a mayor who will focus on jobs, housing, and social justice, because that's the future of Santa Fe that we all want. We want jobs that will keep our young people here and give them a way to flourish, grow, and have a future that they are proud of. We want housing where they can live that's affordable, in neighborhoods that are safe and really well maintained. And we want social justice so that everybody is treated fairly, equitably, and with respect. Those pieces fit together into a vision of Santa Fe's future that I think we all can agree on. We have the same values. We need a mayor with the experience and the ability to deliver on those values. There are certainly a number of items that I think I would initiate uh, if I uh, become mayor of Santa Fe, and one of those uh, would be to uh, reorient some of the uh, focus uh, at City Hall. Uh, I think the city is the largest service organization uh, in all of Santa Fe, uh, and it exists to serve the people of Santa Fe, and that is an attitude that sometimes is not in evidence, uh, and so I would try and set the example from the top of servant leadership so that uh, throughout the city, the objective of the city is to serve the people of Santa Fe uh, and make their lives better and ensure that those times in which they interact with the city are actually ones which are pleasurable as opposed to challenging. Uh, too often as a city councilor, I've heard those challenges and people who have given up because of uh, problems with permitting as one instance. Uh, in terms of changes, uh, we certainly do want change, and I have been trying to, uh, and have been leading change at the city uh, since coming on board. Uh, early on, I identified the failures within our IT system based upon certain reports that have been done, and now we're putting in an entirely new enterprise-wide system after we've created an IT department uh, and brought professionals in and uh, in budgeting determined to actually fund that. That will drive efficiencies across the city. Uh, and so we have initiated a great deal of change and we will continue to do that. Um, additionally, training for staff is another critical issue. Uh, too often our people are not given the skill sets they need to do that job. So training internally would be another significant issue for me uh, as we redo HR to focus on service to the people of Santa Fe. So if I'm elected as mayor, uh, my priorities are going to be um, to really uh, find an executive team. Uh, the city manager of Santa Fe, I'm sorry, this, the um, mayor of Santa Fe has got to appoint a new city manager, a new city attorney, and a city clerk. Um, as the only candidate up here who served as a mayor, I presided over uh, a transition in, into my new administration. So I know what it takes, and, there, and by the way, there's not very much time to do that. Uh, an organizational meeting has to occur within 30 days of the, of the election. So my priority is gonna be making some interim appointments, uh, beginning the search process for those three primary appointments. And although the city manager does not appoint the police chief uh, here in the city of Santa Fe, 
I would immediately convene uh, a, an advisory committee to review applications from a national search to ensure that we have a police chief that uh, is capable, qualified, and is knowledgeable about the culture and the nature of our community. The other priority is going to be uh, crafting uh, a budget for the next fiscal year. Um, budget hearings have to begin in the springtime, around March. The actual budget is due to the state uh, at the beginning of June and takes effect on July 1. Uh, another um, broader priority is really creating good government, creating a government that's transparent, efficient, and effective. Uh, we need to restore trust in government. I think the soda tax was very apparent. I think the message was uh, great cause, but uh, it's, it's government overreach in the absence of public trust. And so we need to create a government that works well for everyone. Um, the other thing is, as was mentioned before, there was a fraud risk, um, financial fraud risk assessment done. Uh, one of the recommendations is the city must move forward with a more detailed forensic audit that hasn't been done by this administration. In my administration, it's going to be priority number one. Thank you.